Okay, so it's uh, just past midnight and we're just gonna go walk around and see what uh, people are doing on the top floor. So, we'll just head that side. So, I, I just thought we'd uh, show some of your work, make out a bit of it. We do a demo because they were quite interested. They were very interesting <laughs> demo to show <laughs> on a data they've gathered from Wikipedia. So maybe you'd just like to uh, say a few words about it. Yeah, Shwadi. sure. So what we've done is we've uh, we built the entire graph around. Just say your name and. Uh, hi, I'm Murthy, and this is Vikrant. Uh, we are from DataWeb. So yeah, uh, we've been trying to like, uh, mine I'm some interesting relationships from from the Wikipedia entity relationship graph. So we built a uh, demo of such. So let's say Christian Bale, Gary Oldman, and Christopher Nolan are the terms I want uh, that I gave. To okay. My or the entities that have been. So. Okay. So I have an interesting set of related entities that I have. So they are sorted with, with respect to relevance. Right? Relevance. So the most relevant. So is the most relevant is Dark Knight. You have Michael Caine who acted in the Dark Knight. Batman Begins. Uh, Natalie Portman is because uh, Christian Bale and Nat uh, Natalie Portman were nominated for Academy Awards in the same year. Okay, mm, not bad. <laughs> and then <laughs> so you have uh, like Heath Ledger, so and then you have Heath Ledger, you have Morgan Freeman, and you know, you if you look at uh, all the terms that are, that have that have written here, it's got to do only with the movie universe. So we've not moved out of the movie universe. So, yeah. so let's let's just change it. So. He, Wow. <laughs> Next research project, so to speak. Uh, wow. <laughs> Your yeah. name and what you've been doing and like stuff. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just teaching myself MongoDB. Yeah. Oh, cool. And my name is Amit. And hopefully, uh, I'll after teaching myself MongoDB, I'll figure out how to scrape. Once I've done that, I'm gonna get some content. By that tomorrow should be over. <laughs> uh, but if I manage to do that early by early morning tomorrow, then I'm gonna actually mine that data, do something interesting with that. Okay. So how's the MongoDB coming along? Oh, it's fairly simple as of now. Let's see. Once I start coding, okay. I'm just reading it as of now. I joined late, right? I yeah. joined after dinner. <laughs> so doesn't qualify. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thanks, man. Thank you. So next table. So this is, uh, I guess, the first uh, seriously multi-language project that we have here. As far as I've found, I've it Java, JavaScript, and Python happening here. <laughs> and some C++. And some C++. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, can you guys go ahead and maybe talk a bit about what you guys are doing? Um, so we actually don't know if we'll be able to show something, but uh, here's the idea. We have uh, about uh, one and a half million blog posts, which are rated by thousands of users. We only have likes, no dislikes. And the idea is uh, to build a model so that you can predict, uh, given an unseen blog, uh, which of the users are going to like it and to what degree. So that is one thing, but uh, there are other offshoots we are trying. So we are just using some uh, techniques to extract out topics out of the blogs and uh, then trend uh, or rather plot the trends of these topics across time, what happened in the WordPress. And if we are able to do that, then we could also correlate it with the external events that happened in the world and see whether some of them affected uh, what were the topics in the WordPress blogosphere at that time. So basically these so are So what things. sort of tools are you using I mean, for your analysis? Right. Uh, so you see there are a lot of things happening here. So. Uh, we are using just uh, Java and some Python coding to yeah. clean up the data. There's a lot and lot of garbage. Like you wouldn't believe, we found after doing all the cleanups, we found like five million unique words okay. in this. So I mean, I thought English dictionary had only <laughs> a few thousand words. Uh, we have five million unique terms. So there's a lot of garbage here. So, but uh, apart from that, once you have uh, the data, then we are using a ready-made off-the-shelf tool called Wowpal Wabbit. It's developed by John Langford from Yahoo Research uh, and uh, this tool basically does uh, LDA which is latent data allocation uh, which will uh, which generally tries to model the data based on some generative models 
and tries to detect the topics and the words in the topic. So this is that going on in the background. This is off the shelf tool. It's too less a time to build something like right from the scratch. And if this completes and it gives meaningful output, then we can mash up that output in many ways. And Vinayak has done some good funky thing for coding, uh, plotting it on JavaScript using stream, uh, stream graphs. If this gives you a good output, then we will be able to show something. Otherwise, okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, <Easy>. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's easy path. <laughs> okay, next, uh, group, please just head on. Hey guys. Hello. We're going to do a little talk about what you guys are working on. And maybe you'd like to say a bit about the stuff you guys are doing. We are continuing to work on the sentiment analysis of tweets. So, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, Right now we've got a broken classifier and uh, we've got somebody collecting. He was using third party APIs. Right? Uh, basically we need to train our classifier with some training data. So what we are doing is we are using third party APIs and get fetching data as in okay. sending in text to that uh, API and getting it whether it's a, it's a positive or a negative sentiment. And then that we are feeding into our classifier but it's not really working right now. <laughs> <laughs> as in for both uh, I am happy and I am not happy, it gives a positive sentiment. Okay, okay so that's, there's something wrong, yeah. seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just that one small problem that we need to get over. <laughs> cool, so. Alright then. Cool, great. Thanks guys. So now we've got the flip card data. Hi, so I'll just uh, maybe talk about uh, what you're attempting to do. And sort of things they're looking at in terms of uh, the data that's card. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the data and how to <laughs> make use of this particular data in real life. Okay. Have you seen anything interesting yet in the data that you found? Yeah, it's like uh, some particular products uh, go from zero to uh, certain range in a different series. You can see here on a particular day. Okay. And some events are happening. Okay. And you want to figure out in particular on whether it's due to this particular event, okay. this particular rising sale is happening. Okay, okay, or okay. It's a, like a comparison. Maybe this product is related to another product. Okay, cool, cool. But I am not sure which product is this. <laughs> <laughs> is oh, there are so no you, don't, you don't have the names. No, it has, okay, doesn't have right. any names. <laughs> this is something, some event is happening, some, some product, product is get uh, getting raised. <laughs> so, uh, we finished with the first floor and we moved on to the ground floor and see what uh, people are up to. Uh, come down. So, first we just talk about uh, some stuff that's happening with Baba Jobs data. Right. So, maybe you'd like to fill us in what you're doing and uh, what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. So we have provided the API uh, which is providing the data to him and what we are trying to do is basically analyze the job data and you know uh, every job has an associated set of job seekers who are shortlisted, contacted or job seekers who applied. So we are just analyzing the whole job and job seekers data and trying to find out uh, you know what attributes on on the job lead to more job seekers applying for that particular job or what attributes on the particular job seekers profile lead to them being shortlisted or contacted by the employer. Okay. So I mean that's what uh, we are working on. Uh, he's using some Python live machine learning libraries to, you know, on the So you had mentioned that you had uh, opened up some APIs uh, yeah, yeah, so for this purpose. Yeah, I mean, uh, just for Hacknight, we built an API. So if you go to hacknight.babajob.com, so the APIs are available over there. Okay. And it's a work in progress API. I mean, like initially we had just provided just two sets of data. Okay. Uh, but then he said that we need a third set, so I built that also. So maybe just like talk about the technologies you're using for uh, the project. Right. So it's basically on Python, uh, and uh, the base library is something called Scikit. Uh, so if you go to Scikit, site. Uh, uh, it's, which is based on NumPy and uh, SciPy, so it's a you know very simple machine learning uh, APIs. So you don't even need to know machine learning; you just need to know how to use APIs, and it'll, it'll do the magic for us. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So uh, maybe we'll talk about your processing project. Yeah. 
I'm trying to visualize the marks of uh, students like who have passed in Bangalore, like whether they have passed or failed. Like I want to build up a story around like pass is good and fail is bad. I want to kind of visualize something like kind of a thought bubble or a kernel, saying that okay, like it's, it's kind of an opportunity or some sort of it's very rich of stuff. Like I want to build up a story and then uh, make it like kind of grow the bubbles and then it kind of wavers and stuff. So it's more kind of artistic <laughs> project than really getting trying to get some sense out of the data. Some of pass and counts, like it's ever increasing thing, but it should eventually stop and then it should start moving. I'm trying to fix where I'm going wrong. Okay. So it's kind of a very short demo, but still, this is what like I have. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's actually the only uh, seriously visualization oriented. Uh, uh, big data work we've seen so far, which is yeah. pretty good. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so okay, let's move on to the 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 Twitter. Uh, I forget the word actually. Sorry. The Twitter. Uh, actually, uh, we are taking uh, the stream from Twitter right now. It's a recently available stream, and uh, using this stream, we are trying to take uh, take run few analysis. Let's say users. Uh, um, otherwise, even the companies they can uh, actually yeah. see the trend of their users, uh, what's the real time trend of the users, and accordingly act uh, on their campaigns. Or uh, they can also go with uh, some kind of sentiment analysis and stuff. So we are trying to develop a tool over this, so that um, for now we are going with Twitter. Means like a stream data, how can that be analyzed uh, in, uh, in, a, in a real time? It's like uh, we can go with a specific reason, like let's say a particular restaurant want to go on to. Specific, uh, want to go with the tag to target some kind of audience. So, uh, how many kinds of audience are there? And in Bangalore, what's happening? And uh, can we target this particular audience at this particular of uh, time? And uh, are they on mobiles right now? Usually, they use mobiles or not. And these kind of data, everything will be available. So, it's like a, with, the, with the data which we are getting out, we have multiple dimensions. So, we uh, we give this tool in the such a way that the, the client otherwise the guy who is using this tool will be able to configure the dimensions and accordingly filter out the data he needs okay. so that uh, he can act upon accordingly. So this is going to be a, a it's going to have a fairly sophisticated web interface and what are you using the back end for this? In the back end, uh, we are not decided yet but uh, oh. we are using for now Node.js. Yeah. Okay, okay cool. And uh, we uh, we take all the data out uh, into any database let's say for now we don't know so like uh, as it is JSON we might use Mongo. Okay fine. Uh, that is it. Uh, yeah, okay. thanks. Oops. So let's move on to the uh, the last group on the floor. Hi. Uh, Hi. So what what are you guys uh, working on? Yes. So I think let's do it. Uh, we are basically trying to come up with a Hadoop cluster, a two machine Hadoop cluster, and uh, we are facing. We were facing some issues earlier and we are trying to hopefully uh, uh, yeah, to that now. Yeah. So the data we are looking at is this uh, review of data of so restaurants, hotels and uh, other places crawled from social media by this company called Be Evolve. So they gave us a one gig compressed, it's actually three and a half gig uncompressed uh, data, it's line oriented record so we are planning to do aggregations on that. We are doing like a word count is something we have done, that's a basic Hadoop thing. We'll do more, like one thing he suggested is you can look for words called better and then you can quickly say it, it also always means something is better than something is what they would have written. So we plan to look for something like that and say okay what are the two things they are comparing, how many records have that. We have about 9 million records over there, so we'll come up with more metrics. So for right now we are setting up a cluster, we are mostly done with that. Okay, great, thanks. <laughs>